All right, so how can you have no recall in the finals? What can you do to reduce your recall from this to this? What do you need to do? Well, you don't need to learn the recall pattern. There are two main methods that I found work really well. One that's really good for close range and one that's really good for long range. Now, before I showcase how to do it let me just prove that i'm not just bluffing let's show some actual gameplay of it real quick just a little little tiny bit so you can see what i mean Okay, now that you've seen that, let's talk about how to do it yourselves. This is going to take five to ten minutes to master in the practice range, and then you're going to be able to go in and hopefully laser beam everybody. Now, I'm going to start with the close range method, which is a form of recoil smoothing, but this isn't going to work for long range, and there's another method. So that's why I mentioned there's two methods. The first method is essentially recoil smoothing the second method is something else that we'll talk about in a little minute after recoil smoothing so this is the method you want to use for close range now if you don't know what recoil smoothing is let me explain it it's in most shooter games so let's explain why developers add recoil smoothing and what it is first so essentially this is what recoil is right you shoot and your bullets have a pattern and they follow that pattern right recoil smoothing basically removes recall in certain circumstances so for example let's say you're moving really fast try to track this target whilst we're moving at really fast speeds is really difficult in itself so having that and also trying to control the recall would be next to impossible so what developers do is when you move your mouse at fast speeds they'll remove the recall entirely for you because they want the experience to be more enjoyable and more playable and when you have people zipping grappling jump padding all over the place just tracking them is hard enough as it is so recoil moving is essentially a mechanic that removes recoil when you move your mouse really fast so that you could actually have a chance to kill these fast moving players or when you're fast moving and in some games it's as simple as shooting and strafing in the other direction to counter that aim but it doesn't quite work like that in the finals at least not in most cases for example let's try and do it here we still have a bit of recoil you saw that right now the way to get around that for close range because basically if we compare this game to apex there's slower strafe speed and on top of that recoil smoothing doesn't really kick in until you move your mouse at a faster speed so we can't just strafe in front of an opponent and reduce our recoil but if we strafe around them like this so instead of doing this if we curve around the opponent that is going to allow us to get enough mouse movement to reduce recoil completely. And it really is that simple up close. That is literally it. The firing range is going to reset. Hang on. So you can use this recoil smoothing method in the finals to have no recoil at, you know, output to about 10 meters. Like even this distance, right? You can do it pretty effectively. But what happens when you have longer distances? Because if we go over here and try and use this method to say have no recoil on this guy. Well, you can't rotate around him. You don't have much of a uh, rotation here, right? So, hang on. It's not really going to work, is it? It just, you're going to have recoil still, okay? It's, it's not going to be the same. So then, how do we counter recoil long range? Well, it's going to be an experience that's a little bit odd. And I think everyone's going to learn their own method to this. But I'm going to explain it in its simplicity first and then put it in action. Now, I think the best way is to start with the F car because this is sort of a weapon where you want to be using it long range, okay? So this is me just trying to control the recoil without this method, okay? Here's a target here. Let's just see if we can hit him. Oh, it's not too bad, right? But there's a bit of shaking, you see that? Now, this is with the method implemented. Hang on here. Let's wait for these dudes to get out of the way. Much better, right? Less shaky, on target. And then let's see what we can do against this heavy boy. Excuse me, sir. Pretty good. We've got a couple headshots in there. 
And you saw that it wasn't perfect, right? There's a bit of shakiness. And this is why um, you're going to need to practice it yourself. And also you'll find that with each weapon you use, when you change the weapon, you're going to have to have a little second to practice. And I'll explain why in a minute. But look, this is why, right? Here we go. That there is not a perfect spread. And if we try it again, though, that's more perfect, right? Now, the reason is you have to sort of not do this by off by heart. You need to kind of listen to the weapon sound and then spam a movement, right? It could be literally in one direction. It could be forwards. It could be left. It could be backwards. But instead of holding, like with Rico spoofing, you're moving and holding in one direction, right? With this method, every shot of your weapon, you spam let go. Spam, let go, spam, let go, spam, let go, spam, let go, right? So let me just show you what it would look like if we just move in one direction here so you can see what I mean. Right? Uh, obviously, because we're moving this way, we would need to counter backwards. But as you can see, pretty good, right? So I think this is why a lot of people are going to need to f go into the practice range and try it out for themselves. But essentially, the recall is countered by uh, spam moving uh, and let letting go of the movement after every bullet it's it's a weird thing but it works and the way i found it works the best is you move spam left and right like this at the speed of the gun fire rate so this is what it looks like now right now we're going to be doing like this and it's not the best strafing right it's not the best so with some practice we could try it like this now what we're doing is we're moving a little bit this way and a little bit this way, right? This is what we're doing. It's not great, but at least you got a bit more movement in there and you may be able to dodge some bullets. But long range, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if you're long range, uh, you're going to be beaming and they're not going to be beaming unless they're doing it. So another method is to spam forwards and back like this, right? Watch this. Uh, it's a little odd, but it really does work well. And then you're not having to counter for this aim because instead of going left and right, you're just going forward and back. But it's a little bit weird for mouse and keyboard to do this. You're going to have to move your fingers to a different position, but... Right, pretty good. Now, there's a next level to this, okay? Instead of spamming, like if you want to stay still, instead of spamming this, 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 or this, 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 you can just spam both keys at the same time, right? This is me left and right right now. I'm hardly moving. Now watch this. Looks pretty good, right? So we can try against this boy. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, the thing is with this method uh, in its entirety is most weapons do have this initial kick, right? And even with this method, that kick's still gonna be there. And you're gonna need to sort of uh, move your mouse a little bit, right? You're not like trying to control this pattern, blah, 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 blah. You got to move your mouse like just a little bit, like tiny movements. It doesn't matter what direction. It just helps to keep the um, recoil smooth. I don't really know what's going on there, but essentially you spam movement keys, whichever one you want to do at the fire rate of your weapon. And at the same time, just keep your mouse like not jittering. This isn't jitter aiming, but you do want to keep some mouse movement because Let's say we put it on spacebar here. Let's put our fire button on spacebar. I'm not touching the mouse, okay? Look, I'll even put my mouse up here, okay? Just to show you what I mean, if I can balance it. All right, so my mouse is there. I'm gonna fire with the spacebar. This is what happens if you don't just like jiggle your mouse a tiny bit. It's like keeping your mouse active. I, I don't know why. So I'm not keeping my aim active here. Oh, I need to aim at ADS. <laughs> So this is what will happen. It doesn't work. For some reason, it just doesn't work. So essentially, you need to spam a movement key or all movement keys or any combination of movement keys. Uh, every time a bullet is fired, a movement key needs to be pressed and let go. And you need to move your mouse just literally the tiniest of anything. Like, And then you'll have no recall. Right? It's that easy, okay? And it works with every weapon. But like I was saying earlier, this is why I would, at the start of each match, just quickly practice your recall because every weapon has a different fire rate. 
right if i just do the exact same movement that i learned off by heart with the f car now on the ak looks look what happens it doesn't work it doesn't work so i need to listen to this a second okay so the the, the fire rate of the akm is a bit different so now i need to move my keys at the same speed as the fire rate of the ak right uh and let's do it by spamming both left and right so we're just basically staying still here that works really well now there's a bit of visual recall on the guns right that is not the actual recall that is the visual recall just stay true to this method and your aim will be on target don't try and like counter the aim with your mouse because that's just visual recall look ready watch We're staying on target even though our AK is bouncing. And it's almost like I even did it there myself. Instinctually, you want to try and move to counter that. That is visual recall. Uh, it's the model of the gun moving. You want to ignore that and focus on your crosshair and your aim. Now, this does work with other weapons as well, right? Like I said with the XP-54 earlier. But listen to this, ready? Listen to this. That's a very fast firing weapon. So, I mean, this isn't as bad for your wrist as jitter aiming is, but you're going to need to be pretty quick with it. Ready? Right? Like, you, I'm spamming my AD key here. Like, crazy. Like, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys can do this, but it's going to take a bit of practice for longer range weapon. Uh, sorry, faster fire rate weapons. But we can do it here. With the XP-54. Right, it takes 20 bullets of a XP-54 to knock a heavy at this range. So I'm going to need to hit two-thirds of my um, uh, ammo count here, right? And we did it. We did it. And it's simply because I'm doing this. Same method, right? Now, if you go to the M11, I don't think you're going to want to spam this long range. It's probably not worth it. You can just do normal uh, recourse moving, which I talked about earlier, right? Um, but you, you can sort of do it. But listen to the fire rate of this thing. I'll try my best here, but it's not very easy, okay? It's not very easy. So maybe like this close. It's okay. Maybe this distance. But when you get up to like this distance, the M11 does come into some issues that your aim is just too unstable because you literally can't spam your movement keys fast enough. I'll try my best, but you know, it wasn't too bad. That was an all right of a spray. I think with some practice, you can do it, right? We'll try again. We'll try again. Okay. Not bad, but it's, it's just so hard to do with the M11 because of the fast fire rate. Alright, now we move on to the LMGs. And for the life of me, I can't really figure out how to do it with these. It may be because it's a visual recall thing. Like, I can do it against the wall, okay? Like, look, look at this. For some reason, it just doesn't quite work the same. I don't know what it is. But you might need to practice with this yourselves. It does not seem to be an effective way to manage recall on the LMDs, and I have no idea why. But for every other weapon, it works really well. But, like, just, I don't... I think it's because they've got ridiculous visual recall. Uh, and honestly, I think it'll be better just to learn the recall of this anyway. I don't know. It's a weird gun. I just... Yeah, it's a weird one. Anyway, that's how to control your recall for pretty much every gun in the game. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Uh, like I say, pretty straightforward. As a quick recap... All you need to do is listen to the fire rate of your weapon. And then spam movement direction and let go uh, to match the fire rate. Whilst also just jiggling your mouse ever so slightly. Not crazily, but ever so slightly. And this is what I mean. Because I just use all those other weapons, I instinctively did a different movement speed with my keys. And it messed up a little bit. So I got a really... Every time I start a game, uh, try and just feel it out again. Because each weapon is going to be a little bit different. But now we got it under, under control. We can just beam people across the map again. So that's pretty much how to control your recall. You've got two methods. Uh, sort of curving 
uh, around a target with recourse moving for close range and whatever this weird thing is. Uh, I don't know, guys. Maybe um, give a name for it in the comments. The comment with the most likes will be the new name for this mechanic. Uh, hopefully this is useful. Let me know, and I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.